Aloha gang and I hope you guys are having a wonderful weekend. Well, it's a three day weekend and guess what? Sunday is the Hunter Full Moon. Wow, it's like, what? What happened? It's so quick. Yes, it's so quick because this year, a lot of the new moon and the full moon are falling a month ahead. And so we are in the middle of a point where we have to finally, we're at the last quarter where things are gonna start to really rumble and shake, especially when it comes down to the truth, right? The real will come out and the fake will start to dissolve. So before we start on that, it's exactly what is time for the full moon when we take out our crystals. And if you've been following me, remember this one? Well, like I just mentioned, the fake will fall apart and it sure did. So you can see it naturally crumbling when I hit it against the moon and when I re-energize the crystals. So things that are real like these, that I, cause they're alive. Like you can see the water in this one that I have over 20, 30 years. And so when we talk about keeping it real and being real, it's really about how we bring out our energy, our frequency to what surrounds us, right? And I'm not lying about this. It's like mother nature or really the, the frequency and people will come to understand that what comes down to being real and fake because the fake will somehow break down and that will happen and it really comes down to even our body um when we take fake substance you know like certain things that are really not good for us like a lot of the chemicals and things like that and i'm gonna go dive deep into it this month really talking about shampoos and conditioner and skincare system for your dog. It's really about working with real elements and real things to make the dog what it is, a good, healthy skin. And that's like for us, is what we put into ourselves and what we put out will really make a difference, right? And so I, live that kind of lifestyle so i really focus on what the foods and nutrition that i bring into my body it's not about how skinny i want to become or how fat i want to become or how buff i want to look like it's really about really consciously protecting our shell this is our shell but what really counts is the deeper side of us which is our inner self and our inner heart and soul and how we supposed to really give it a break and give it some great nutrition how is less stress having a completely blank mind sometimes that's why i love to do my little chit chat corner during meditation monday so don't forget to subscribe and join me for our meditation monday where it gives you some leeway for the week to get you prepared for what it is and this is what the full moon is all about is what did you plant in during the the new moon and see how much care you put in because listen every new moon out there in my garden i probably plant over a hundred seeds and out of that hundred seeds some may make it through and some is like you know and every month it gives me what i need to work on you know whether it's mixing up with you know what this type of water giving it um fish poop water or really lucky i finally got my zoo poo or zoo do you know from the honolulu zoo i mean it's working its magic and so a combination of what kind of nutrition I put into our soil 
really makes a huge difference on the seed that I planted. And so now my, my garden out there is ready to thrive to the next what, full moon within, within a two weeks time period. It's because I decide to put a lot more attention, a lot more nutrition, and a lot more soul searching for my soil to give me the results within two weeks. It's the same thing what we do for ourselves. We need to really see what we plant. And planting the seed is not just planting the seed and I water the yard and I'm hoping it, it takes more than that, believe me. If I could, in, in you know, every new moon if and every full moon of hundreds and hundreds of seeds that I planted each month, can you imagine my whole place would be like a crazy billion trillion pot of vegetables and flowers and fruits and things like that, but it's not that easy, right? And the same way goes with our life. And so this full moon, which also known the hunter moon, falls into eclipse season. And so eclipse season is a time where we really need to kind of um, see what's really shining within us because we, some of us still dragging into you know, in October and, and the rest of the last of the year, they're wishy-washy thoughts and it's okay. And so give people that space, but don't get drawn into their wishy-washy ways because we've already went through that in September. September was during a lot of things that was erupting, not only Mother Earth, but also whether it's in the politics, whether it's in people passing away, um, whether it's the change of, like I said before, the change of guards, the change of a new era of how things are gonna start to evolve, revolve, and start to manifest. Because if we don't start to manifest our own life, guess what? Other people is using this technique and creating their own huge world themselves. And so they listen to what really matters is how you really want to plant your seed and guide it and give it all this nutrition because what we come down to is really this month is finding that clarity to move forward. You know, there is going to be a really strong emotional roller coaster. I'm going through it where, you know, it's really our emotion that's burning out because we all burn out. We've gone through a lot. Come on, friends. We went through a lot. I mean, at the closing of 2019, people who's start to see things and start to see the changes that's going to happen in 2020 was prepared. And so, you know, some of us are ahead of the game because we have a game plan, right? And so that's why if you feel yourself burnt out, guess what? The holiday season is coming up and you're going to get more burnt out and you're going to get more of these emotional roller coaster. And so something that we can't even sometimes accept new things that's coming in because the things are going to be really, really change in 2023, whether it's our food, whether it's a technology, whether it's our um, financial system, a lot of it has already upgraded, just like our iPhone, right? Just like our, our technology way of how we see the doctor through virtual ways, you know, and how a lot of things are changing. And so these are the things that's really just starting to come in. Just imagine because it's like fire movement. It fires, you, you, you're sitting at a fireplace and you see the fire is just going to many different directions. And that's how it is. When you're doing a barbecue, you start watching the fire, you put it on the steak and you know, you watch it, how it cooks. And so it's the same thing that's happening, but we have to really start to widen our collective energy because if we scatter our way and seeing how it's all going to be, if it, you know, because everybody have a different ways they want to eat their steak. Some people don't even want to eat a steak. 
you know and so those kind of things that we have because there's just too much wide of collective energy just just scattered all over and there was a on top of that you marinated with um the divide right either you're going to be making it korean barbecue way or you're going to make it teriyaki way but guess what it's almost the same ingredients that you put it in but it's how you say it taste it and believe in it in whatever culture you you brought it in and it's funny because you know um my dad doesn't eat korean food but yet he eats teriyaki because it's made japanese style whereas korean barbecue is made korean style but it's literally is how we see things and how we sense things and how we eat it and how we were culturally want to bring it in because right now there's going to be like another culture thing is really going to be really big into the um wave of stuff is really being your gender right and I'm not going to go into it because that's I'm just saying what is things that are going to be coming up at the end of this year that's going to be facing a lot of fire all over you know whether it's um Roe versus Wade or whether it's you know gay rights or black life black life lives or white light lives and that's a big huge controversy right now going with kanye west and and all that thing and so you see these kind of um wide energy of people really start to get emotional because the chiron is in the house where we 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 feel the care we feel the rage we feel the anger we feel the fear so it's really about releasing all these energy because that's what it is and for example if you are mad at someone you need to let it go you need to just because that's what the full moon is about let go of your anger you know and if they don't want to respond and they just kind of ghost you out it's because I don't know and you shouldn't even trying to dissect it to figure out all of that stuff because there is so many things that's out there that need you in 2023 you know I mean I was just going over the phone for a great example you know put your energy where it's needed and it will be appreciate your value for example like my sister she loves her car it broke down again and she was very very upset i was going through the craziness of september and i said please people i need to you know really focus and on my on my business because you know and i stepped back they stepped back because i put my foot down and i was very clear about my messages but it also hurt me because it limits my time for helping people but I have to get things done to help more of a more broader and more birds eye people that I can go out and reach and help. And that's what I'm all about with Coco Jour. And, you know, and so that's where we see the value. You're either going to be chasing after somebody who values you at $5 and you're trying to argue with them that this and that pick and choose your battle in other words you know if their value you see and they try to outsell you or try to say hey you know what i want a discount or i want this or i want that or you know really hear things clearly and get the clarity because sometimes through that clarity you get other vision for example you know some people may be bargaining their way to doing that and some people say which was a great, great, you know, feedback. Cause I do read people emails and messages and I do get back, but there is a lot of things that I study what people want and what their needs is. And did you know that Hawaii is the best beta center out here? But anyways, because there's so much ways of we can see because you're putting yourself, whether you are selling a product, a service or being you, 
you need to put yourself in that person's shoes. And I've always learned that. And that was really what called success. It's not only listening to your own voice, it's also listening to what other people's voices are and, and their concern and their problems and how you can solve it and how you can resolve it. And so, you know, like every time I have a call in, whether it's business or friendship or anything, I listen because that's where I can pick up certain cues of things that I need to help myself, or maybe that will help improve for other people. And, you know, going off the subject is like that. Either you're going to pick and choose your battle and try to, you know, compare yourself or fight yourself for that value with that person who's trying to nickel and dime you or bringing up things like, oh, okay, yeah, I would have helped you if you did X, Y, Z. And then you just listening to all that ramble of excuses because if they really wanted to do it, they would do it. For example, like my sister, her car broke down. I didn't care because I have enough cars to let her use and I let her use it. And I, you know, I told her this and that and she used it and she's, you know, she's keeping me in tune. What's happening? I'm sorry. You know, they don't have the parts. It's probably going to be this and that. So communication was great, but she knew that I was really busy. I mean, this week was crazy, great crazy because I knew how to align it. And, and it's really about keeping up your alignment and balancing your calmness to create good results. And so, you know, this morning I had back to back zoom calls and things like that. So I text her and then she said, you know, I told her what she needs to do. And I'm like, okay, okay. I got a lot of things. And, and I asked her, where's the key and this and that. And she said, don't forget the envelope. And she kept on telling me about the envelope and I'm like, what's in the envelope. So I said, okay, I found it. And it was so cute. It was a thank you card. And this simple card like this. And I'm like, why is she thanking me, my sister, you know? And I opened it and out comes thank you very much. Well, thank you very much. I really appreciate your help. You know? And she put money inside. I'm like, oh my God, why did you put money inside? And she said, it doesn't matter. I said, I don't want money. You know, I wanted to just help you because you were in a bind and that cost so much to fix your car. And I said, I don't want the money. She said, it doesn't matter if it was you or somebody else. I appreciate your help when I was stuck and you helped me. And I appreciate your value of giving me your time and your car and, and you know, and so it really hit my heart. Like, oh, you know, I thank you, but I really don't want the money, you know? You needed to help pay for your car and she said, I don't care, just take it. So, you know, and so those are like real things. It's like, I'm not, <laughs> you know, here I am, Nicole and Dine somebody. It's like, hello. <laughs> and you see how things manifest? It's like you don't know where, as long as you can show your value and what your self-worth is, these people who try to prove to you that, hey, I am your friend or I know better than you or because you are my friend, you're supposed to help me because I just started my, my business and you're supposed to do this and that. Everybody is in a situation, but business is business. Friendship is friendship. And that's where I stand very clear. And like, for example, you know, my sister stand very clear in what she did. And so when you're very clear and have clarity, you don't need to be making up excuses, right? Where, oh, I was, yeah, I know I was supposed to pay you, but you didn't tell me how much I should pay you. It's not about that is coming from your heart. If you knew, if you know that you're there 
and you understand the value of why you're there in somebody's home or somebody's business or somebody, things that they have in life, put in your value. Whether you're washing the dishes or, or picking up, going out there and helping, up, helping and picking up dog poop or helping them fold the laundry or helping them doing something. You know, that's the value of really the undivine communication of really respect. You know, don't go around and say, well, you know, I, I did this and I did that. People will recognize it. You know, I recognize it very quickly. Owning a business, I see people that, of course, they're, they're my employees. They get paid. They get do this. But then I see the extra value people that they're getting paid, but yet they respond back by doing good value, good appreciation, putting in that time, putting in that effort. And people who sees it will recognize it and will appreciate it and give back because that's, that's only being mindful and conscious. And so being good steward in our life right now is so important. And I'm bringing in my Meditation Monday statement, but my, you know, that I usually talk about my mission statements of how we really need to start to find and appreciate other people's value, not just only talk about it. Action talks more than words, I always say that. And so really, this is the month that's gonna be filled with different kind of distractions and different kind of anger versus, you know, taking it with a grain of salt or putting it into power to you, to analyze it, to really give you a much more clarity, a single-minded objection on what or who you're doing, whether it's a project or whether it's your fellow coworker, your friendship, your family, or whatever it could be. Use this technique to really start to use your mental quality of mind. Because if you let the cheetah mind, the monkey mind goes off or your chicken mind, you can't really pinpoint things through a bird's perspective, bird's eye view where you see an overview of things because we get so lost. And when we get lost, all of a sudden you start, you're gonna be plucking like a chicken or you'll be flying like an eagle. And that's the kind of frequency that's gonna be start to chuckling around because why? Lots of scams are out there. And I put it in my other video about how to identify a good website, if it's a secured website, if it's the good, you know? And I made a video on that so you can look at it at my um, YouTube channel that it's it's good, our website, you know? So it's really, not some are lost in space in cyber world because that's where the energy is really relocating during eclipse seasons. And so sometimes when you write it out loud, like what I do all the time, it really gives your head a very good conscious direction, you know, because we go through it anger frustration i mean come on it's on top of our list right now because of what we're going through you know where whether it's economically financially um as far as where our job is going to be leading us some people may get laid off because a lot of the old ways of doing things is changing and so these kind of things that's going to be starting to really coming in. So whether you're going to focus on the wishy-washy people who, you know, it's not that they're they're doing something bad or they're in a bad stage or whatever. They're just still wishy-washy. You can't unplug the wishy-washy thing, right? You need the wishy-washy to wash the clothes. And when the when you finally finish washing the clothes and you said, okay, it's now time to hang it up and and see how the breeze gonna dry it all up and take it to folding the clothes. And that's when we have to go through the process. And sometimes trusting the process is much easier because let yourself go and be go through that wishy-washy stage. But if you're gonna keep on staying there, stay there because you're not gonna go to the next level because it's gonna be 2023. 
And when that happened, okay, these people who gave you the chance may not be there. Maybe they might just be breathing into a different space with the people that is there because sometimes we need to change our anchor to port our ship. Because if we don't clean the anchor, sometimes you get people hanging on to it, you know, and hoping that you will be the rescuer. Because there are leaders, there are there are people that needs to be guided, and there's people that needs to have um, a different POV, different point of view into in and 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 all of these are great things to to work on. But at some point, at some pinnacle point in the fork of the road, we have to figure it out and move on or you're gonna be sinking like the Titanic, you know? And so this is where patience and latitude comes into the game because wishy-washy people, they're fine, they're great. I'm a wishy-washy people person sometimes but I decide to pick up my anchor and move it because if I don't put it to a different breathing space you know we only have so much patience and latitude before it just sucks us down into where they are you know in Japanese we say ashio hipparu no you know they want to pull you to where they are and a lot of people do that because they don't have the direction. They're scared, so they want to hold on to you dearly, you know? So that's why they ghost you or they play these little games or they play these little wishy-washy thing of what they say. Listen, people, carefully and what they talk about. What is their mission? What is their, you know, there is a mission and there is a mission accomplished, right? But if you keep on being in the wishy, 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 using every excuses in the book oh you're my friend i thought you was going to help me i thought you was going to do this i thought 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 but that's just a thought frame okay thought frames are wonderful things to have but if you don't move that thought frame into action then you can keep on being in that wishy-washy wannabe stage and so really you have to create that mission right so it can be accomplished and that's how we really need to stay active this month and don't get sucked into that you know and that's why i say it's really good to write things down because if we don't anchor it down write down your mission statement because you're gonna see how much it's just like planting a seed but this time it's really writing it down to see it because once you write it down it's really a good way to heal your anger and your frustration because listen, if we don't start to evolve in what it is, we're really gonna be left behind in a lot of things. And then, and then you know, we're, we're gonna wonder what happened, right? So, this is what it's all about. Be that hunter in this moon, this full moon, and really find what you need to hunt down inside of you so you can anchor down that arrow, that bullseye, and bring that to your, from wishy-washy to your mission statement so that can be accomplished at the end of this year we got two more months left and this is what's happening with the full moon don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel and once again take out your crystals to re-energize and this is like a challenge for me i want to see how much it breaks down the fake crystals versus the real crystals because the real thing and the real energy from the sun and from the moon and from the real power of crystal will break apart the fake and really dive deep into a true healing. So what I'm saying is a lot of this fakeness and a lot of these fake things that have been floating through media is all gonna come out, whether because, um, you know, law and order is gonna really start to surface a huge thing because, 
you know, things want power. And that's why the rocket man is shooting on his missiles, like I just mentioned in my other YouTube video back in the beginning of um, this month. Was it this month or was it last month? I do so much um, Coco Jor Corner predictions that I get kind of mixed up in which month I said it because I go with the energy, I go with that flow of frequency and I go with that thought of mine to use these tools that's, you know, that's there. And so just like this, the tools that I created to help heal your dog naturally with our Coco Jor Zen Spa collection, which is 100% natural. And the only person that really makes it is mom because this is our all of our original recipe that we've been doing it since, geez, for almost 20 years. So don't forget to um, click on and check out our gift set, which is our mini that you guys can try it out at CocoJorChannel.com. That's C O C O J O R channel, C H A N N E L dot com. Or you know what? You can just go to CocoJor.com, go to the shop. We have it all there. And I can't wait to start the holiday season. And don't forget to always join us for our meditation Mondays where I give tips in our CocoJor corner. And once again, Thank you for spending your time listening to what's coming up in the full moon on Sunday, October the 9th. Stay tuned for more Coco Jor Chit Chat Corner and don't forget to subscribe so when we have something up, it's right there that, at the click of your button. Mahalo and you take care. Aloha.